friends uh, welcome to OBA video tutorials this session I'm going to explain about the OBA architecture like what are the components and what are the services we are using in uh, OBA so when you're talking about OBA is a web-based tool uh, reporting tool and uh, we have to uh, first uh, create RPD and then we have to deploy RPD in uh, BI system then uh, BI system using this and it will be displaying the uh, reports in a browser so this end-to-end -end process you should know about the components and uh, available uh, types of components so the major thing when you're talking about uh, OBIE so before uh, 11G before 11G if you consider compared with the previous version so 10G we are using version for the component and from 11G and 12C we are using WebLogic server it's a middleware uh, Component we are using as a WebLogic server. So there are two types of components here. One is a Java components, which is related to mainly WebLogic server, which is mainly related to WebLogic server components will be calling as a Java components, and BA server components will be calling as non-Java components. That is BA components will be calling as non-Java components. So when you're talking about Java components, you see clearly on weblogic server level one is admin server where uh, you can see in while logging to weblogic console weblogic console or enterprise manager so these two components will be there in administration server and uh, there is another component called main a server so those main a server is mainly managing all your third parties uh, whichever if you are related to obie so that is one server related to uh, OBIE, same thing if you are going for ODI, same thing if you are going for some third party tools. So, that is clearly managing some other tool services. So, if you are talking about uh, if you are installing OBIE, so another server will be created for OBIE, and there is another services is required for to maintain other than admin server that is called node manager. So, node manager is managing all your uh, other than admin server that is related to main a servers and this service is required if you are going for multiple nodes same thing for single node or multiple nodes for example if you have a requirement to configure multiple bi servers like uat production uh, like multiple servers as well as like high availability if you are in planning to implement server one server two server one went down if you want to come up with the server two so this node manager will play the key role uh, in this okay this service is required to maintain main a servers so if we're talking about main a server all uh, ba related uh, like presentation services plugins and microsoft uh, office plugins like all microsoft office related plugins integration ba publisher security services like a single sign on uh, an oracle rtd services uh, web services sova integration all services will be integrated in main a server then if you're talking about a system components that is a bi system components mainly on obi side so there are a five services and five components bi server bi server is a hot of your obi where uh, it is reading your rpd rpd means you are creating one repository file right using administration tool so that file we are keeping into BI server, BI server will be reading that file and BI scheduler is another component and there is another service, separate service for this. Using this, we will be scheduling our reports to deliver through mails to the particular users that is called a scheduler. Presentation services is major service. It is communicating with your BI server and reading your RPD and displaying your reports. That is, in browser, whatever you are displaying reports, that is a service called presentation services. This is the major component, answers and the dashboards, everything is working on this presentation services. And the Java host is another component where mainly related to graphs, like if you have a report which is having graphs. So this Java host service will be taking care about this, that's an additional component. Then cluster controller like as I explained if you have a high availability or like multiple nodes if you are configuring this so this will take care about cluster control and 11G and 10G we have a OPMN 
Oracle Process Manager. Using this, we are maintaining the services. But 12C, OBA 12C, uh, they removed OPMN and they added VLST, WebLogic Server Scripting Tool. That is, VLST they released uh, using a command. Same thing here. OPMN also we are running through commands. There also we are using uh, VLST. That is, WLST uh, for Win. WebLogic Server Scripting Tool they replace with the uh, OPMN. It is available for LavaNG, but 12C it is not available. And if you're talking about the file system, as you know that when you configure your OBA in your system, configuration files, all your BA configuration files like in, in NQS config file, uh, presentation services configuration file, and RPDs, or catalogs, security and identity management, connection configuration, database configuration, log files. So all these files will be storing into very uh, particular system, whichever you install your OBA. Okay. So this is uh, related to BI system files. So major you can find the BI system files. One is the catalogs, all the reports and dashboards that will be catalogs, presentation catalog, security uh, ID files, like all security information will be stored into file. Then identity management as well as RPD, whichever you have created RPD, that is the major thing. It is a uh, part of your BI server where we are designing this data version design. In configuration files like NQS config uh, and the presentation services configuration files. So all configuration files is mandatory and that will be storing into a system. So this file will be calling us a BI system files. Okay. And then log files as well. Like if you have something going wrong, uh, if you want to monitor something like if you want to identify some issues. So you can go through the logs, you will get more clarity like what is happened, BA services, what is happened. Presentation services, schedule or maybe Java host or maybe cluster. So this is all related to overview on architecture components. So mainly you need to remember this Java components and non-Java components. Java components is nothing but your logic server components, administration server and the manage server. That is the logic server console and the logic server enterprise manager. So that enterprise manager will be maintaining all your services. And uh, node manager is another service is required to maintain manage service. Okay, so node manager is the key service to manage your manage servers. The system components that is your BA system components, those all are non Java components. So it is not related to a uh, web logic server, but this is components are related to mainly your OBA server, those are five BA servers, scheduler, presentation services, Java host, and cluster controller. Then OPMN is mainly Oracle Process Manager where you are communicating with through commands to your server, like starting services, uh, know the status of your server services. So everything using OPMN. It is available in 11G, but it is not available in 12C. Okay. So on the related to files, uh, you can find all uh, configuration files, RPD, presentation catalog files, like all of our reports, restoring your hard disk. So log files, database configurations, connection configurations.